Hi, this is Debbie Sementelli of Lettering Art Studio, and I'm here to show you how to address your envelopes in Microsoft Word using my Dom Loves Mary calligraphy script and text fonts. Now this is just the way that I do it because working with Word can be challenging for many people and I'm one of them. So this is the end result that I'm going to show you and then I'll show you how I got there. And the reason that this is turned around is, is because of the way that my printer prints. So um, you might have to do it differently, but you'll get the basic idea uh, once I demonstrate it to you. So let's start with a blank uh, Word document. And the important thing is to me, I don't use their envelope template. Um, they don't have an A7 envelope, which is the five, uh, five and a quarter by seven and a quarter, which is used for most wedding invitations and party invitations. I don't know why they don't have it. You can create it customly with Word, but um, I still like to do it my way because then I can print on the flap of the envelope. So the most important thing when you're doing that is that you have to set up your page um, for your printer. So I just went to on the Word um, header file and um, page setup. Now not every printer can do custom printing so that's the most important thing. If you can't do custom printing this is not going to work for you. But I happen to have a printer that does and I have lots of different um, custom sizes of templates I've created. This one is for the 5x7 envelope template. So I know already that it's going to be 7 and a quarter by 9 and a half. And the reason it's 9 and a half is because that is from the bottom of the envelope to the tip of the envelope flap. Now the next thing that I've created is a um, a template where I actually traced oh there you get to see my logos I actually traced the envelope and let's see I okay I traced the envelope and I scanned it in and created a JPEG so I'm going to insert that and here's the funny thing about Word it won't really let me move this unless I do something to it so I'm right clicking and going down to wrap text and putting none. And now I can size it and move it. And I've never understood why that happens in Word, but you know, it's one of those funky things. I'm going to reduce this size a little bit so I can work with this more easily. So I'm going to size this and later when I'm going to print envelopes, I can just delete it but it already shows me where the middle is and okay that's about right so it shows me where the middle is um, it shows me where the flap is and it shows me where my um, base basic envelope is now as you saw in the final that I did I turned this whole thing around and and put this here and the flap here again because that's how my printer prints but I'm just going to do it the upright way so you can see what I'm doing so basically pretty basic you put text boxes in so I'm going to create a text box for return address now I'm going to switch my font to the um, Dom Loves Mary text font and I created this to go with the script font, they're both done by hand originally, um, so and they were meant to go together. So I'm just going to make up a one, two, three Main Street. Dallas, Texas, that's where I live. 75205, there we go. And then I'm just going to come into the text box and I'm going to press the center, click on the center, and I can actually. Uh, then rotate this by grabbing that green ball and then move it where I want it to be. So, you know, I'm kind of eyeballing it. So that looks like center to me. You could technically go and look at the rulers, but 
I kind of eyeball things. So um, the next thing is we're going to create the box that's going to be, whoops, okay, I accidentally moved that. There we go. We're going to create a text box that's going to go right here. So this is going to be our main address box. Okay, and let's move that over. Okay, so I'm going to go up and get the Dom Loves Mary contextual version of the script font, and I'm going to increase the size. Let's try 26, see how that goes. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. So I'm just typing in, oops, forgot a little space there. Okay. Typing in my address, one, two, three, four. Happily ever, <laughs> if I could spell, after Lane. There we go, how's that sound? Um, Blissville, Maryland. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and again, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to center the text move this over a little bit. So that looks like it's probably about right. So I can just have have it just like that and then every time that I'm going to print the envelope I just go into this text box and change the address and that's pretty easy. I'm going to show you um, a little something else that on my finished one if you see right here please deliver to this is something that I showed um, how to do in a previous um, demonstration. So if you go to my YouTube channel, Lettering Art Studio, you'll see how to do that. And this is using my Dom Loves Mary add-on words and the uh, Dom Loves Mary text. So um, that's just a little something you can do. It kind of adds a little fun and the way that I got these two uh, to go together, okay, I hate when I do that. There we go. Oops. Okay. Is um, to click on the right and go to grouping and group. See, I could ungroup it, but I don't want to do that. So when you group it, it puts these two text boxes together so you don't have to move them separately once you get them placed where you want. And in my other tutorial, I also show how to get please to go on that angle that it's, uh, that curve that it's on. So check out that tutorial if you want to look at how to do that. And I'm going to go back here. There we go. So I would be printing my envelopes. Um, oh, I just moved the whole thing, didn't I? Okay, word is very finicky. But there you go. There you have it. There's the um, template that I created and all I have to do is just delete that and then I'm good to go. I know where everything is. I can come in here and here's the magic. If I want to type a new address, I just click on it and then when I'm done, it will change it back to the space that it, the place where it was. So that's pretty cool. So that's, this is my tutorial and um, I hope this has been helpful for you. I'm going to have this template on my blog, Lettering Art Studio blog. Just go to letteringartstudio.com and so you can download that if for some reason you don't have a scanner. I'd be happy to um, have you take that from my blog and use it. Um, love to here if this has worked for you. Again, it's just something that worked for me. But um, good luck and thanks for watching. Take care.